Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. Screams, werewolves and saber-toothed cats, dragons, lizards and ghosts. Now Delamere Forest is the largest area of woodland in Cheshire and the name Delamere means forest of the lakes and it's around 2,400 acres in size. And what's the forest that's there now is what's left of two ancient forests known as the Mara and the Modrum forests. Now these medieval forests stretch from the Mersey to the north to Nantwich to the south, over to the west and the east also. And there are a host of rivers and streams interconnecting throughout this vast ancient woodland at the time. Historians believe the forest was used by Anglo-Saxons for hunting. But the history of this area can be traced back much further to the Iron Age. At the top of Eddysbury Hill, near Delamere Station, there is what we now believe to be an Iron Age fort, which historians believe was rebuilt in 914 by a very famous lady known as the Lady of the Mercians. And she ruled Mercia in the English Midlands from 911 until her death in 918. So it must have been a very important area. Now, the A54 road runs through the forest and this road is laid above the site of the old Roman road. And we find this with many of the cryptid reports that come in across the UK. Delamere Forest is no exception to this. According to a local historian, Delamere Forest is so old, it has scars from Ice Age glaciers, which were here around 10,000 years ago, and its origins go way back into the mists of time. Now, rumours and reports of strange animals in Delamere Forest can be dated back as far as the Romans. The Romans, as I said, cut a straight road through the forest to connect the fortress town of Chester to the salt mines at uh, Norwich, Northwich, sorry. Now, the Romans reported hearing the loud roar of an unknown beast, and they would frequently find deer and wild boars torn apart within the forest itself. There were also stories that some soldiers went missing when they went to try and find the strange animal. Now, in the Middle Ages, there were reports of a monster at large in the forest. It was described as a dragon with grey and black scales, which ate sheep and deer and wild boar, and even some of the locals on occasion. Some reports say the creature used to take to the river near what is now Ellesmere Port via a seaside cave. Now, the reports of something at large in Delamere Forest have continued throughout the centuries. And in 1882, a soldier and a justice of the peace signed affidavit stating that they had seen a lizard-like creature that was around 200 feet in length swimming through the coastal waters of Liverpool Bay heading inland towards the forest area. Now, this same year, there were reports of a large animal in the north of the forest. In April 1974, six people encountered an enormous animal which looked like a sabre-toothed tiger. Now, the explanation was that it was nothing more than a fox, according to the authorities. But four of the witnesses were wildlife experts and they were insulted by that explanation and declared that it was not a fox or a known animal that they saw. One hot summer afternoon in 1985... Three people saw something which sent them running for their lives. And Mr and Mrs Taylor of Halewood were hiking through the forest when they came upon what looked like an overgrown elephant in a clearing. This animal was in the shade and it gave off a terrible stench. Now the Taylors suddenly stopped in their tracks when they saw that the animal had a head like a dinosaur. It just looked like a small Tyrannosaurus rex, they stated. This thing was asleep and it was breathing slowly, making a snorting sound. Suddenly, a man came on the scene and shouted, Oh my God! He turned on his heels and ran off. Mr and Mrs Taylor held on to one another, turned around and walked away trembling. Now they heard a thud behind them and they started to run. Now, let me look back once. They met a park ranger as they were leaving and they told him about the incredible encounter. 
But he didn't look at all surprised. He just shook his head. That same month, strange howling noises were heard in the forest and reported to the local newspapers. And the noises were reported as someone or something snapping the trunk of thick trees in half. Now, this next report came in to me by email and the witness stated, I had something happen in the forest many years ago in 81 or 82. I saw nothing with my eyes, but I heard something that made the most horrible noise. It sounded like an enormous donkey screaming. And that's what I've always tried to convince myself that it was. I'd been up at Burtonwood Services, as most of the youngsters did then. Myself and some friends, we were around about 17 to 19 at the time. And it was about 2am and we were all on motorbikes. And we never discussed going to Delamere Forest, but we just seemed to end up there. On that night, the forest did feel really dark. And my friends were winding each other up about the monsters and stuff people had seen out there. And obviously we'd heard this scream and we left. And as we wanted to smoke, we parked up at a bike shop over the road from the woods. And as we were standing there, all three of us saw a number of figures. A few dressed in purple robes and around 30 other priests walking along with them. Now a witness report by Adam says me and a group of four friends were out late on Friday night in Delamere Forest. Walking along the designated trail just past the Go Ape Centre. And it was a wild windy evening and the rain was coming down pretty heavy. As we stopped just off a small fork in the path. As we all huddled together back to back under a large golfing brolly. Avoiding drips, we all suddenly became aware of the presence looking at us from somewhere nearby, which spooked the whole group. I started scanning the surrounding area, which was pitch black, and for some reason I had the urge to look back in the direction towards the crossroads of the path we'd come off. To my horror, I could see two eyes looking back at me, about waist height, not even ten feet from us in the thick, bushy hedgerow. Suddenly, it began moving to the right almost instantly, right across the path we had just walked from. And the way we would have to walk back out to get to the car. Now, to the best of my ability, all I can say is, I saw an extremely large black wolf-like creature on all fours, which didn't turn its head or lose eye contact with me the whole time it crossed that path. It kept looking in my eyes and it was glaring at me and it had this kind of vacant expression and then it disappeared into the denser shrubs along the path beyond. I had no idea where it had gone. I was absolutely freaked at this point as my nerve had gone. Now the walk back to the car became a rather quick and nervous journey going past the Go Ape Centre as that feeling of being watched returned but this time everyone felt it strongly. I may have been around 25 years old and I was about six foot then, 180 pounds. But I am not ashamed to say I ran like a little girl the last hundred yards to the car. Thank you, Adam. Now, last year, over the summer of 2019, two of the members of BBR did a number of night investigations here in the forest. And on one occasion, along the satellite trail, they became so scared by the things they could see around them and the activity of breaking branches and grunts and growls. It caused them to call the police, who arrived around 8am and escorted the men from the area. Now, both gentlemen described being watched from the tree line by upright canine creatures. They did state that no matter how hard it was staying in the tent until morning was, the only other alternative was to walk out into the dark through the area they were being watched from. Now, this was the second occasion two people camping in the forest close to the lake area have reported feeling watched from within the trees. And on one occasion, stones were thrown to move the campers away from the area. Now, this strategy worked to treat and they did move on. Just at the road from the forest and situated within the grounds of a well-known stately home, there is a report of a creature I fit I feel may be connected to the reports in the forest. Hi, I'd like to report an incident that up until now I've only told my family. But here goes. 
I was on my way back to Northwich in Cheshire last spring when my Land Rover broke down and we were in the countryside next to a large daily home I used to work for called Tatton Estates. It was just me and my dog in the car and we had to wait on this country road between the two woods for the rescue truck. Well, the sun went down and I turned my lights on so any other traffic could see the car because there's no street lights out there. It began to rain and my dog kept looking out into the woods to our left and he was whining, but we'd been in the car now two hours, so I just put it down to that. Just then, a thing, I have no clue what it was or what to call it, crossed the road to the right at the edge of the truck's light. I could only just see it crawl like it was on its belly and it crawled across the road and over into the woods on the other side. It was fur covered. It was light brown or just brown. But as it was dark and I could only just see it, I assume it was lighter. My mind said, what the hell am I looking at? For another hour, I racked my brains trying to place this creature to name it. It crawled like a soldier on its belly. I can't remember seeing a tail, and it was big, at least as big as a man. Now that park is full of deer and pheasants, and I'm not sure, to this day, what I saw. It moved fluidly, like a skulking cat, but the size was too large to be a cat, and its belly must have been touching the ground the way it was moving. My lights at this point were getting dim, and the battery was drained, so it was not very clear. It was very fast, it wasn't slow like a person, but it had arms and legs, so that's why I said it crawled like a man. But after thinking, I did go down the big cat route, because what else could it have been? I did a sketch, and I can't find it at the moment, the sketch was of a Sasquatch crawling on its belly, and I remember thinking it looked just like the creature I'd seen. Could we have hominids here in the UK? Is that possible? I myself doubt it was a man, but some other creature not known to me. And to this day, I am still unsure as to what I saw. Now, as we move out in all directions from here, from the forest, there are reports of cryptid cryptid creatures to all four corners. They include a female bipedal wolf that watches the young man from the trees. He spots it from his bedroom window because his house is on the edge of the town. There was a footprint in the snow reported in winter of 2019. You have the Hale Village Werewolf. You have um, the Blacker Than Night Wolf at Ellesmere Port. You have the creature that's as big as a horse that crossed the road at night just between Risley and Birchwood Country Park. There are sightings to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. So could this be um, an area where there is lots of energy and that's why the phenomena is so profound, let's say, there? Or is it, if we're looking for something that's flesh and blood, is it like it was for early man, a very important foraging route? Um, I don't suppose I'll ever know. I hope one day I'll know. But for now, um, all we have is theory, isn't it? So, Delamere Forest. If you're out in Cheshire one day and you fancy going down there and taking some photographs for me, please do. I will be joining the members there, probably as you're listening to this today. And I made this video um, because you couldn't join us. So it was my way of kind of bringing you along in spirit. So blessings from a very wet Lancashire and until next time, thank you very much. Good night.